Well, hello there. Hopefully we got the stream redirect working perfectly. Uh, we are currently in the process of trying to dive down into Skull Cavern. We want to reach level 100 of Skull Cavern today. Um, we've been in the process of farming up all the food and bombs that we need to get there. Ooh, it worked. Oh, yeah. Holy cannoli, the redirect worked. <laughs> Ooh, the bookseller is in town today, too, which is perfect. Ursula, thank you so much for becoming a bean. Welcome to the community. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love it when you don't have to lift a finger. Perfect. Positively splendid. So we're trying to stock up on cheese right now to get us into... So that way we have good food for Skull Cavern. We've been, you know, feeding ourselves on mayonnaise the whole playthrough, but now we're upgrading to cheese. Which is the better upgrade. It's like magic. Perfect. Redirect didn't work for you, or you're on iPad? Might have not... I don't know. Jester, thank you for the seven months. Thanks again for the gift subs to the most wonderful and wholesome content creator. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Who's a good chicken? Oh, of course, we're getting so many different quality eggs. I want to get my evil egg empire growing. <laughs> that makes it look like you had a... Pr so I actually thought when this dropped that it was some kind of really small prismatic shard. <laughs> I got very excited only to realize that it was in fact not a prismatic shard. It was a... <laughs> it's a propeller hat. I'm quite fond of the propeller hat, though, I'm not gonna lie. I quite like it. We got a strange bun. Alright, the old rusty spoon we'll put in there. Why no otter gratter for the chickens? Because I don't feel like wasting 25,000 gold at the moment. I just don't need it that bad. It only takes a second to pick it up. We've been trying to be as efficient as possible with our limited funds because we haven't been able to grow as many crops as we traditionally would be able to on this map. So it's slowed our income compared to usual. It's still working out okay for us. Smug, what'd it do? I guess I'm going to buy one foraging book. Let's check to see what the luck is today, though, because we might have good luck and we might dive down in the way a little bit, you know? We got plenty of food. Here, go away. No, stop. Mm, neutral. Okay. Today is not the day. I wish there was a way to be able to see, like, how much XP I have in a particular skill. Because I want to buy the foraging books, but I also know I have plenty of foraging XP still available to me if I chop down trees and harvest the rest of our crops and everything. So I really don't want to waste 8,000 gold. But I also don't want to wait until mid-spring to buy the book, so we're just going to waste the money. I think is the moral of that story. We're going to chop down all these trees, too. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, but I'm not downloading mods, Smug. That doesn't help. No mod playthrough. No mods, more better. The truffle crab totally shocked you. I haven't seen the truffle crab yet. Well then, suffer. Yes, ma'am. Ugh. So it's 13. Hey, <laughs> level 10 foraging. There we go. All right. I'm glad I chopped the trees before going to buy the book. We freaking did it, ladies and gentlemen. We've had a really good first year. Level 10 farming, nine mining, 10 foraging, nine fishing, and eight combat. In our first year. Pretty freaking fire. Horse is too thick. I wasn't sure what it was at first, so you killed it. Oh no, not the truffle crab. Out there just moitering. It's Wednesday the 24th. Have me and Harvey kissed yet? No, I haven't really been befriending anybody th this winter. As I should have been. Our social isn't very high. Um, I know we can max out Harvey pretty quick once we want to. I just didn't really want to focus on the relationships right off the bat. We did that in our last playthrough. Uh, you're gonna get me dead. Who's got a big, fluffy, nasty cat? Don't worry, he likes being beat like that, okay? This is, like, most favorite thing. Which actually, in retrospect, might be why he annoys me so much, is so he can get the angry butt slaps. Don't know why I'm just realizing that. I've been working for him this whole time. up on the cat treats uh vanessa thank you very much it shall be done i shall re-up on all the cat treats <laughs> all the cat treats shall belong to us all right what were we doing i got excited about something i don't You know what? Let's see what other books there are. There's a ro there's like a rotating stock of books. We've got plenty of money right now. I've got nothing I want to spend money on except for maybe one pig. But I was really hoping our pigs would get their groove on and make a baby pig. But it's pretty rare, I guess. Just got my third version of Stardew on your laptop. Nice. Stardew on the PC is the best. Mm, combat quarterly. You run a little bit faster. The bait in Baba. The horse, the book. 
You gain a little extra speed when riding a horse. We bought the price catalog already. I don't see any books that are worth getting right there. At the moment. The auto petter, 50,000 doll hairs. Just got notified on your phone too. Nice. Also, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like this stream as well. Uh, a nice like spike at the beginning of the stream would help out. Oh, so very freaking much. We got 462 people watching on 100 likes and I hate freaking talking about it. Don't make me not have to. I'll love you forever. Don't forget about the likelihood of getting the uh, auto grabber and skull camera or the auto petter. Oh, shoot. We didn't even look for the bloobs today. Did I? I did. Okay. Mm hmm. Our first void chicken is ready to hatch. All right, we need our first void chicken name. Speak now or forever hold your peace. See what y'all got. You got to bring the good good. We're here drug tag. You don't know how to quit us. <laughs> well, after this stream, I'm going to be starting development on the new game. Or at least trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Darkwing. All right, we'll go with Darkwing. That one's been requested a lot, and I've never used it, so. First time for everything. Mick Shady. <laughs> kind of like that one, too, honestly. Aw, oh, Safikins is out there screaming. Safi, baby! Safi! Ma'am. Safikins. What are you doing? She's just in the big room, just screaming for some reason. I know you're out there. Come here. Just looks at me and screams. How could you torture her? She gets spoiled so much. Mm -mm -mm. Did these things bang yet? Nope. They really don't like getting their groove on very much, do they? So member stream is we watch you making your game or is it secret? Um, I have to, I have so much to learn. Trust me. It's, I'm just going to be watching videos <laughs> and uh, setting everything up. Like I have to set up if I'm making an MMO. All right, let's, let's actually see here. So start a poll. If you could play a game, what would, what would you want? So um, MMO or single player slash, uh, co-op. So imagine, uh, let's see here. Imagine a MMO Stardew slash Isekai game. If you don't know what an Isekai is, it's like a, it's basically like an RPG. Uh, Stardew, <laughs> maybe we'll do that. Stardew slash, uh. RPG uh, slash roguelite pixel art. There we go. There we go. Pull. I was going to dictate how I set things up today. Oh my God. I'm a rainbow taco. Krizlin. Oh, hell yeah. Forged items are always the highest quality. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> now, do keep in mind, if it's an MMO, there's not going to be a monthly fee or anything like that. None of that would be, and it would be free to play as well. Um, much, much more harder to uh, to code and everything, so it would definitely be the more difficult version. Oh, it's Santa Day, that's right. We need to do our secret Santa thing. Uh, what does Clint like? <laughs> now, the MMO version of the game would be... Essentially where you could do anything you want. You could be a farmer, fighter, you can use any weapons that you want all in one character. Basically unlimited customization and exploration and kind of like a, a living game where the game evolves depending on what the players do. Very, very big project. Won't be able to do it by myself. Mm -mm. You got Clint for your secret Santa? Give him coal? Wait, he likes coal? Or he loves coal? Gemstones and gold bars. Gold bars was what I was originally anticipating giving him. Uh-huh. Passion for music, thank you. Shoot, we are out of hay today. What are you doing? You harassing Safi right now? Clint started. Clint. You know what? We've got a bunch of aquamarine. We'll give him one of those. The single player co op is winning by a much larger margin than I anticipated. Interesting. I love the propeller beanie. <laughs> it's super cute. Are you down to three cats? Yes. today too. Nope. That was anticlimactic. I'm glad you kept Tear. He loves you. <laughs> Tear is a handful, but he's my trash baby. Raised him from the trash. I don't know what he would do. Honestly, he's a hoe. He would love literally anybody. If we're being completely honest here. Here's me confirmed. <laughs> Ooh, I definitely want to pick up all these crocus now, though. Because the benefit of that is they're going to pop out all iridium quality, which means we can befriend Sandy very quick. I'll have to make a little chest out there for her. Gonna give you a freaking aquamarine. I just hand it to him, right? Give Clint his secret gift? Yes, one aquamarine. An aquamarine, thank you. The mystics are mystic trees are so pretty grown. Wait, mystic trees? 
Hey, Tag, I'm your secret gift giver this year. Old Demetrius. Open it. What you got for me, bud? A pal. A glow ring. Actually would have been incredibly useful, but we already have a glowy thing, so not particularly useful now. Did you watch the Triple I showcase earlier this week full of roguelike games? Um, it's really not... Roguelite wasn't really the uh, the name I should have gone for in that poll. Uh, I just don't know how else to describe it in so few possible... Like, you only get 100 characters, so it was kind of hard to describe. Roguelite is not an accurate representation of what I want to build. It would be Stardew Valley... So, have you... It's so hard. Part of it is I don't want to describe it too much because I don't want somebody to steal my idea. Not that I'm super popular and that people are watching to steal my ideas, but uh, it's besides the point of gears. You know? Is that all I had to do? I felt like there was something else that happened here, but I guess talking to Lewis didn't prompt anything, so we're just going to leave. Then don't tag, we can wait. I've literally been having dreams about this game for months. Like, almost an entire year of, like... Basically, like, the universe is drawing me to freaking make this game. And I think I just need to. And I've started a few times, like, learning coding and stuff like that, and then... Kind of got, like, a... Well, I lost my first game, then started remaking it. And then just, it's been a crazy couple of years, but. <laughs> yeah, so essentially I would make a game where you can specialize in anything you want and everything becomes super important. So you don't have to raid, you don't have to just be a farmer. You can do literally whatever you want in this game and everything you do, the more that you do it, the better you get. And that will evolve over time. There's not like an upper... The, no, I guess there could technically be an upper limit to it. But everything would be incredibly useful. Like, if you specialize in farming and cooking, then you'll be able to supply all the people that go raiding with the best types of food uh, for buffs and things like that, which is incredibly important. Uh, same thing with, like, if you're an armor craft, if you want to specialize in crafting, any kind of crafting skill... The best items in the game will be made from crafters. You're not going to get them as drops. You'll get materials crafted from monsters and things like like materials from monsters that you can then have to take to somebody to craft. And that way, it's like there's like a whole ecosystem that is built up in the game, and you eventually could have like people that are like legendary crafters that can't craft anything. Like will craft like the best things in the game. Same thing with cooks and stuff like that. And I just want to build a game where you can do whatever you want. But even if you want to do just farming, that still has, like, an incredible, important, like, part of the game, too. Would that concept work as a single player? <sighs> that's, the, that's the thing. I don't know. My initial plan was to do a single player game, but I'm so drawn to this idea because there's nothing like it out in, like, the marketplace anywhere. And it's my dream game. And my first thing was, like, okay, I can make a single player game pretty easily. Uh, to maybe fund, like, my dream game one day, but... <laughs> well, you can run a shop even with NPCs. You do that in Moonlighter? Well... Uh, so you would you would still be able to sell all your items in the shop and stuff like that, but so if if any of you have played a game called Final Fantasy XI, you'll kind of understand more along the lines of what I'm talking about when it comes to crafting. Some of the best things that you could make in the game were from crafters. So you would farm up all of these different materials, and you would take it to a crafter. But the crazy part is there's a chance that these crafts can fail too. But you can also get higher quality versions of the crafts. So there's like they had like plus one, plus two. Uh, which would give more beneficial stats. So the more that a certain crafter invested time into leveling up anything and getting all the best equipment for themselves, then they could potentially, you know, turn, like, 
all of your materials into something that was literally priceless in the game because it's so incredibly rare. Um, and a lot of the best items in the game were made by crafters. <laughs> like, I hate games nowadays where you literally spend all this time crafting stuff and it's all just useless garbage that gets basically useless once it comes to raiding and stuff like that. It just seems so... Like, just such a waste of time. <laughs> Final Fantasy XI Dynamis rating years for a single weapon? Yeah. I don't want to make the grind that bad, though. Mm -mm -mm. But I want to make a game where people... You know... The thing I loved about Final Fantasy XI is that game literally made, like, lifelong friendships. Like, I've known people that got married, they're still together. Friendships that have been around for, you know, like, the last 20 freaking years. That's because people actually had to play together, but in a healthy, in a very healthy way. All right, so we got food now. Let's see if it's a good luck day. Because our goal is still to get to level 100 in Skull Cavern before the end of the season. Oh, <laughs> very displeased. Kind of had a feeling. My friend's still with half my static. <laughs> still friends with half my static dynamics group. Oh, yeah. I've got a physical copy of 11, but I never got to play it. Oh, my God. Uh, there's some private servers that are launched right now that are pretty phenomenal. I played on one for... I got horribly addicted to that game again recent, relatively recently. All right, so we're going to go back. We're going to farm up more bombs. We've got all the food that we could possibly need. My husband found his gaming husband from playing Eve. <laughs> God, Eve. That's... That's a whole different animal right there. All right, so I think we need to go... Yeah, we're going to go into the mines. Because we want to farm up more bombs. Where did my hoe go? Huh. Oh, there it is. I also lost my husband to Eve for several years. <laughs> I always wanted to get into Eve. Um, the idea of it was so intriguing, but there was just... There's, I just never had time. Plus, I hate waiting for things. Like, Eve, you have to, like, wait a certain amount of time to get all the certain levels and things like that. And I hated that. Mm -hmm. Like, people just literally... It was basically a spreadsheet game. Which... But I always still just wanted to get into it. Especially some of the stories that you hear from that particular game. Mm -hmm. But I was also considering making more of, like, a... Uh, I think the game that I kind of, like, want to make could also not necessarily need to be an MMO, uh, but a game with instances where you essentially can play co-op with, like, local servers and things like that. Uh, but you could also, like, when you go into the, like, the main dungeon area, which would be, like, an ever-evolving area with monsters that kind of evolve depending on what the players do, like, you can invite friends from other servers or request help from across, like, different people would be able to essentially join your game similar to like how Valheim works but uh, a little bit more in why is my mouse not working? There we go a little bit more intricate so you could technically play it solo but it's also online at the same time with certain aspects which might be easier to make mm -mm -mm. I was bullied all through high school, and the online friends I made playing games are my best friends today, 15 years later. Like, there is definitely something to be said about, about gaming. Like, 
You can meet some amazing people. You can meet some really terrible people too, to be fair, but... Similar to Genshin co-op then? Is that how Genshin works? I've never played a lot of Genshin Impact. But that's interesting. I didn't consider that. That's, so that's how it works? You can... I'm assuming you can request people to help you, like, in boss fights and things like that, I, I guess. My brother has known his gaming friend for 15 years. He's finally meeting her in person next month. Yeah, I remember when I played Final Fantasy 11. Um, I liked <laughs> I liked playing with all the Japanese players because they were just better at the time than, than everybody else because they had the game for longer. Uh, so I completely switched up my sleep schedule when I was a kid to be awake during like Japanese peak hours and would have these static groups like you'd get on at the same time every day and you'd go into some of like the most difficult areas in the game and you'd try and level up as much as humanly possible to try and get to the end game. And I remember just doing this for like like weeks or months, depending on, on what we were trying to do. Of just the same people meeting up every day and uh, just really, really good memories of that type of stuff. I don't know. I like it. Like, I'm a super introvert, but like when you're doing that kind of stuff online, you don't have to talk or chat or anything like that. It's just... I don't know. You find good groups of people. Tag, you play, or I, I did play 14. I played 14 when it was initially released before it was A Realm Reborn. I played a ton of that. I was actually sitting in the game when the meteor came and it became A Realm Reborn. Um, we've defeated the last boss. We sat there and, and watched all that stuff happen. Uh, and then I played a lot of the 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 new release, but then I didn't play any of the other DLCs. I've tried to get back into it, but I really just haven't been able to invest into an MMO like that. I get horribly addictive when I get into something. But it also just doesn't- never fully tickled the itch that I had from playing Final Fantasy XI. Just play your job and no talking necessary. Exactly. That's what Final Fantasy XI... I mean, obviously, we would we would talk and chat and stuff like that. And you'd make fun of, like, other groups when you'd see them run by and they're all dying. And you could choose to save them or not. But if they were stealing, like, your your spawns... <laughs> or if, like... like uh, the funniest thing was, like, we'd, we'd go find a certain area. And in these games, you'd... You know, you'd have so many spawns that, that you could take up, but then other groups would kind of try and roll in and try and, like, overcamp your area. And some of the best things was, like, seeing these other people, like, try and steal your mobs, but then something would spawn on top of them because they chose a bad camp spot, and then their entire team would get wiped. <laughs> it sounds horrible to laugh at them, but at the same time, it's like, they're purposely trying to kill you and steal all your stuff, too. It's called, like, RPKing or something like that. Um, you just see some really crazy stuff in Final Fantasy XI. Am I still thinking of playing Helldivers? Yeah, I actually looked at it just before starting streaming today. I really like what Helldivers is doing with their game, where they have... So Helldivers 2, if you aren't familiar with it, is... If you ever watched the movie Star Troopers, it's essentially a bunch of people trying to liberate these planets from, you know, an invasive alien species. I don't know if I'm describing that too well, but they actually have one singular person that they call a game master that is watching what all the players are doing and is manipulating the game behind the scenes, uh, depending on what they're doing. But they're also adding new things to the game, not in DLCs, but live as the game is being played. Like they added like mechs and like other different alien species, like hybrids and stuff like that. And the game is evolving as the players are playing. And I think that's how like live service games should be run, where there's no announcements for these updates. The players just experience them live when it happens. And 
that creates just a really fun experience, and that's what I would love to see more developers start doing. But you only see that kind of chances taken from indie developers because they're willing to, they're, they're not beholden to, you know, shareholders. They're willing to invest the time and love into a game and, I don't know. It's a good time for indie developers right now. So yeah, I've been wanting to play Helldivers too. They just have one dude out there just manipulating all this chaos. They drop random new enemies for the players to find versus them telling the players what's coming. Yeah, that's perfect. And then and then that's free marketing because the people start sharing all of their experiences in the game. You don't have to spend money on marketing because it's just so viral on its own. I haven't gotten this goddamn dwarf scroll and I'm a little butthurt about it. <laughs> I've never struggled to get this dwarf scroll before. <laughs> Man, this hat keeps making me think I'm dropping prismatic shards. I mean, it's a bad luck day, though, so it's kind of not surprising. I have software skills, but not art, story, or music. <laughs> I have none of the skills. <laughs> uh, but I've picked up a bunch of different, like, pixel art courses and... When I focus on, like, drawing and stuff like that, I can do it. But the problem is I don't have the brain to create stuff like... Like, I can draw what I see, but I'm not good at making up new things. <laughs> you have a better chance at digging. I'm looking for a Dwarf Scroll 4. I don't necessarily need it. But I wow on it. Because then I can buy my bombs instead. We're sitting on a surplus of cash at the moment. Oh, shoot. Digging levels 80 plus. We'll try that next. Sounds like I have a story in mind, though. I do. I do. I have, I, have, I have a very solid concept in mind. It's just a matter if I can do the programming and artwork and music and all that stuff. And or direct people to do it. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm going to run upstairs real quick. I'm going to grab a water and some ice, and then we will continue on. Uh, I, I will be back. That's going to take me like one minute and 45 seconds. I will be back. You are not abandoned.
father went to get milk again. <laughs> I'm back, okay? I would never abandon my children like that. How dare you? Alright, maybe today is Skull Cavern Day. At least he didn't abandon us in the refrigerator this time. Come on, good luck day. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's on like Donkey Kong, ladies and gentlemen. I was left unsupervised and almost died. Oh my god. <clears throat> We need literally everything that we can get. It is the best of days. We've got food. We've got plenty of food. We can't get there until... 10 o'clock, which kind of sucks. We're going to make do with what we got, though. We're going to try and make as many bombs as we can. All the Boombas. And we'll bring all the supplies that we need to make more bombs while we're out as well. It's not our first rodeo. But it could be our last. Dang, I totally thought there was going to be a, a chicken in there today. What's the secret note say? Alright, who thinks we're going to make it to level 100 today? Uh, we'll end this poll. Thank you for voting on that, by the way. Um, let's see here. Start a poll. Will we make it to level 100? You got this. No, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the other kitties? I was feeding my son and couldn't ask earlier. Um, the um, So all the other rescues have been rehomed. Uh, thanks to Tiff and I. Uh, Tiff and I took... Uh, basically... Well, helped rehome all of our little kitties. So they have great, wonderful homes. And they're very spoiled. Which is absolutely amazing. We don't have a lot of anything, actually. Oh, Billy. Now we got 50 and 50. That's actually not too bad. We're going to bring all the gold ore in the hopes that we get enough drops to get more. We're not going to bring that... Is that...? Worse, okay. I don't think there's anything else that I need to bring. I need to bring one warp totem. And that is it. That is everything that we need to get through Skull Cavern today. What's the spare boots? I got as a drop. <laughs> I don't know. I wish I could buy more bombs. How do I vote for both? Oh my god. At least some of you believe in me. We're gonna try and pick up a couple more crocus while we're waiting for it to be 10. Gold nuggets? I got 148 gold nuggets on us, so if we get any... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna bring the Void Essence as well. Because for the Mega Bombs, we need Void Essence and Solar Essence. There we go. We just need to... We'll be collecting plenty of Solar Essence on our rundown. Which kitty still live with you? Aragon, uh, Sephira, and Tyr. <laughs> oh, 
No, 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 no. All, all the rescues got... Well, all the rescues except here. Oh, well, technically, Safi and Aragon are also rescues. Uh, I don't count them as that, though, because I didn't find them in, like, a trash can or, like, a water bucket or anything like the other ones. Mm -mm -mm. Tyr was literally found in a trash can. <laughs> I wish I had some spicy eel. What do I need to get spicy eel? It's emeralds, right? Stardew, spicy eel. Desert trader offers spicy eel for one ruby. We have plenty of rubies. So we'll quickly buy one. It's hard rehoming any animal, but I, I'm so attached to Safi, uh, Aragon, and Tyr. Like, Aragon, I literally had to basically, not even basically, I literally had to buy black market cat drugs to keep them alive. <laughs> and I had to do that for like four months. He was had a, he had a FIP, which is a hundred percent death chance. Hundred <laughs> percent death chance. That's not so terrible. Um, but yeah, I had a hundred percent chance to die because of it. So I had to buy black market cat drugs from China to uh, keep them alive. And then Tyr, I had to bottle feed, which is why he wants to be in my lap or my chest at all times, no matter what. All right, let's do this. Your first rescue cat died from that? Yeah, no, FIP is horrible. They basically just... Like, it's, it's, it's absolutely terrible. They literally just explode on the inside. It's terrible. <clears throat> Let's go down here. All of these stairs should be near the top because of how lucky day it is. We're also looking for holes. All right, no holes. We're not going to waste a ton of time looking for the holes, though. That's kind of one of our downsides that we did the our first... Well, not necessarily our first last, but the last time we did Skull Cavern. Why are you making such weird noises, dude? You're not an abused cat. Whoa, what is going on with the spawns today? So many slither nopes. Sure, not right now, but no, 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 no. Bad cat, bad cat. <laughs> He's like, don't you tell them about my trash past. How dare you, dad? How dare you? Where's all the holes at, man? It's supposed to be a good luck day. I feel like good luck days have less holes, but easier stairs. Oh, wow. Okay. That's not good. Oh, it's free stairs. Do they count as free stairs when we were to use bombs, though? I don't think so. Mine was a parking lot cat, FIV positive. Amazed she's uh, alive sometimes. Well, that's crazy. They can have it passively, which apparently is a thing. They can be a carrier. It's got to be very careful with that. I feel like you made it past, uh, made it to 100 last time on a bad luck day. Ah, uh, no, we ended up doing it. We almost made it on a bad luck day, but then we ended up going on a very good luck day, and that's when we got it. 
We made it to like 95, I think, and then we had to go back. It was brutal. We like ran out of bombs, didn't have any stairs, ran out of time. Oh, look at all that fire quartz. God dang. And a warp totem? What the heck? God, it's already 130 and we're only on level 8. Yeah, this, this run is screwed. We haven't gotten anything good out of this run so far. Jesus, what is happening? Wow. We need a lot of drop downs to get anywhere in this one. Something tells me we are not going to be getting. because I have an audience. <laughs> Everything is just terrible right now. Yeah, we're not getting any drop downs. This is crazy. Did it? Did that say bad luck day? There's so many spawns too. It's like, do we still have the monster musk on? What's happening? That was a weird lag. Oh my god, our first hole at 2.40 p.m. And we only fell three levels. You can eat my ass. Sorry, children. I should make a tent so I can start at 6 a.m. We'll do that uh, next. If we don't, if we don't make it through this one, which doesn't seem like we will. Starting at 6 a.m. is going to really, really help us. I think I should maybe just stop before I waste more bombs, honestly. We already wasted half of our bombs. We're at level 16. Lazy Life, thank you for the 22 months. Thank you very much. And hope you're having a wonderful day. I don't know why I'm committed to this. Like, I feel like our, our, like the tides are about to turn for us, maybe. spend a lot of time grinding up the materials for the bombs. Oh, there's free hole. Three levels. This is this is the worst. What is happening right now? Love the elevator mod. Yeah, the elevator mod is just makes it way too easy though. Plenty of other things, though, but just not what we need. Hmm. Man, no drop downs at all. What the heck? We're at 33. I don't know, what do we- we're at 83% you got this, I can't let everybody down. I can't- ah, there we go, come on, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 4. You can eat all the butts. All of them. Tear made a very loud purr noise to that, he's like, yeah, y'all suck. Mm. 
Um, what the hell? You've got to be kidding me right now. What is life? I guess I should have maybe stacked some speed run or something too. I don't think we're going to struggle this bad. Whoa, left. It's the hat curse. Oh my God. You're right. We forgot about the hat curse. Every time we put a hat on, we get really, really bad luck in this game. Or a drop down or something. Oh my lord, it's the hats. It's got to be the hat. <laughs> Today's supposed to be the most luck you can have in a day. Womp. Literally what he's saying to me. It's like, wah, wah, wah. Sucks to suck, buddy. A squid hat for good luck? I feel like maybe that's a solid choice, honestly. There's certain things that we should use stairs for, and this is one of them. Always use stairs on these levels if you can. Come on, give me a drop down. Give me a drop down. Give me something good. Oh, another prismatic shard. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. It is the hat curse, then it sure feels like it. Oh, God. I'm like super focusing, not reading the chat nearly as much as I could be. Oh. What the hell? It's 9 30. We gotta go so many. Red cabbage! We need to go so many more levels still. Oh my lord. 
<laughs> oh god. Uh, boom. Come on, big drop down, big drop down. Nope. This just looks stressful. <laughs> Getting down to level 100 in Skull Cavern in one day with no mods is probably the most stressful part of the game. We're at 69. All right. It's 10.40 p.m. If we get super freaking lucky with drop downs, we can do this still. Come on. I cannot believe it. Cannot believe it. Absolutely bananas right now. Oh my god! Alright, we're just taking the free freaking stairs, I guess. Make it to 100 would be something. Yeah, we're not gonna make it this one, I don't think. Like, just the, the level of bad luck we're having with drop downs is unbelievable. We literally only need like two or three good drop downs. But all I can get is freaking stairs. Oh, there's one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, big one, big one, big one, big one. Yes! Oh, it happened! We didn't get the thing! Oh, no! <laughs> we made it to 100! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> we didn't get the secret note, so that's confirmed, at least. Oh, my God. I've never gotten that secret note before. I wonder if it's because I went down with stairs. Ugh. I've never gotten to level 100 with a, with a set of stairs before. Be warned. I've never gotten that secret note for the for getting to level 100, though. S screw all of you. Y'all suck. <laughs> that was awesome, though. It went- that was the biggest, greatest, most epicest come from behind victory ever, I think. Now let's get to 200? Oh my god. No, he just shames you for using stairs. Yeah. Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> oh, God. Let me out. Stupid tree. Oh, screw you. Oh, you can suck a big bag of tree dicks. Ah. Ah. Uh. Jesus.
<laughs> That's for using stairs tag. Oh my god. All right, we didn't lose as much money as I thought we were gonna. That was both, like, the greatest comeback and the worst series of events to happen back-to-back -back ever on this channel. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> oh, my lord. The tree didn't like that. It sure did not. I cannot believe it. I thought I, I thought I brought the thing. Oh, my god. We got another prismatic shard, though. We barely used as many resources as I thought we were going to. Honestly, that was a solid run. Watch this secret note be the level 100 secret note. I swear. Oh, come to Secret Woods. Please bring Maypal syrup. We already did that. No, we did not. We did not bring Maypal syrup. I cannot believe it. I'm so... So just <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna murderize that tree up there. That tree just screwed us. The greatest and saddest events that have ever happened. Somebody really needs to clip that. It's 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 me. I'll have to do it after the stream. Look at all this money we got, though. I don't know how I'm still missing that secret note. We've gotten so many secret notes this playthrough, too. At least you finally blew yourself up on purpose. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's true. I should have been using the bigger Boombas to begin with, but... I didn't think it was going to take that many. I think we've got enough Crocus to befriend Sandy now, though. Just throwing that out there. And the chat warned you about the tree. I remember, but I thought I brought the axe with me. <laughs> oh, God. Man. You know what? It has been a phenomenal year one for us, though. All things considered, problems, bad luck, the whole shebang. Like, it has been a great year one. This is probably the... This, I'm not even going to say probably. The most successful and weirdly eventful year one that I've ever had in Stardew Valley. We've had the worst luck and some of the best luck back-to-back -back constantly. It has been great. You don't get large void eggs, do you? Because you sold your sold to Georgia, Georgia, and bought your way through. Look, to, potato, tomato. At least our pigs are fully grown for next season now. Georgia root seems so much easier than. Uh, we just have to be really, really efficient with your money because it costs a lot. You can do the community center run just as quick as the Joja run um, without having to spend all of your money. Am I having a stroke right now? No, I'm not. Stream is 69 minutes long. Nice. That's a good, good time to be joining the stream right there. Until you quit.
Baka Doodle Freakin' Do. I'm gonna be honest though. I like the Jojo run more than the community <coughs> than the community center. Uh, mainly because we get an auto petter. And you know what? This town let everything go to shambles anyways. Need hey? Oh, I know. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Don't you worry. Hmm. We got farming, mining, and foraging. So we really need to get combat up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy some of those, some more of those combat books, actually. Then we can have everything at nine. Ooh, spending way more money on that than I wanted to. We've spent so much money on these books. Wow. I guess I did just level up combat. Sturdy Valley expanded Jojo Run makes Morris 100 times better than Lewis. You know what? I kind of want to install Stardew Valley expanded after year one, maybe, which would be like literally tomorrow. Ugh, I don't know. We need to buy one pig. You know what? No, we're not going to buy that pig. Ridge side. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's a lot of additions. Can a person switch to Jojo if they haven't finished the community center? I'm nearly done with it, but would love the auto petter. Actually, I don't know. I've never tried to do that. Get a mod to Mary Caroline. Well, we did get to level 100, so y'all were uh, right. 83% believe that we could get to a level 100. I don't do the community center for the townsfolk. I do it for the Junimos. They're too cute not to help. Well, really, they're helping you. Are you really helping them? I don't think so. Because you still get to interact with the Junimas whether you do the community center or not. And you can switch to Joja anytime before completing the community center. Nice. Yeah, I totally voted you could. Somehow I don't believe you. Somehow I just don't. We got bloobs today? Nope. Put some cherries out there, though. <laughs> I had faith in you. Thank you. We don't need that red cabbage. Man. That was crazy. I guess the question is, I can't really install everything. We'll do a poll. Start a poll. Should, whoops. Should we add mods for year two? Pretty Valley expanded. Ridge side. Um. Yes. No. 
keep it van vanilla. Hmm. Yeah, we can buy the auto pattern from Jojo for 500, but that's if you fully complete the uh, the Jojo run. Are we going to go pick up hardwood? We still need batteries. I'm hoping. Where'd my horse go? That we can get. I was really hoping that we would get some batteries during the freaking Skull Cavern run. We didn't get any. <laughs> yes, it's 69%. Nice. Yes, that's 67%. Let's go chop the trees. We got to keep the yes at 69% or we're not doing it. <laughs> the Mary Caroline mod. Oh, yeah, I'll be adding that as a mod for sure. I already planned to do that to steal Pierre's wife because this is a ruin Pierre's life playthrough. We're going to be first. We're going to marry and divorce his child. Then we're going to steal his wife. But that that's kind of mean to Abigail at the same time. Maybe that's a little bit unnecessary. Um, and we're trying to bankrupt his entire company as well. By only selling to Pierre, but buying from Joja Corp. But then, if I add Stardew Valley Expanded, I want to marry the one person that I've always wanted to marry, which was, uh... Uh, the girl that runs... The purple hair girl that runs the, uh... The wine place? Also, immersive scarecrows. What the hell is that? Reshades are so nice. Reshades are super nice. Sophia. Thank you. Yes, Sophia. I've only ever gotten her to seven hearts, I think. <laughs> if, they, if you add the poly mod, you can <laughs> you can marry all three. What you gonna do with that big horse butt? Aragon screams in the background. I thought you married her at some point. I might have. Maybe I did. Like, maybe just. Just, 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 just. Wish Sophia was in the normal game. Me too. Wait a second. Maybe we'll switch up for year two the hats, right? So maybe we'll do this. Oh, wait, what's this? Last night, a Joja team member found you. Oh, 1,000 gold. Perfect. Freaking Joja Corp. <laughs> Squid Pope. <laughs> ah, yes, Ken Spec. Your house looks like a castle with a moat. It kind of does, doesn't it? So we've got spring, day one, year two. We had a very, very successful year one. Our blue grass is proliferating real fast. It's real nice. Uh, I guess we'll stop here. If we're going to add mods, I need to stop here because I don't want to go through much of year two. Uh, without the mods so that way we can actually add all of those and do all the things I don't want to miss stuff essentially because I'm, I'm assuming with the 1.6 update there's probably new things and expanded and all that stuff uh, so we're going to stop here for the night the next stream we'll be adding expanded mods uh, we'll be, do we vote on mods? no I know what mods you guys want I'll <laughs> we'll figure it out although um, if you want to if anybody wants to recommend some mods in the 
uh, in our Discord channel. Basically, in our members' Discord, on uh, just do it. Post it in the general chat for gaming. So under gaming general, uh, feel free to recommend any of the mods that you want to see me play for year two. Uh, I'll probably use many of them. I have a feeling I know a lot of the ones you're going to recommend. Uh, but anyways, I do hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful night.